Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. The reason why I'm saying welcome back is because I have indeed done a Let's Play of this game before. This is my second one for this channel, technically my third, but I did delete the first one. So I do have a new first one, which is my second, technically, but I'm not going to get into technicalities because that'll just confuse you and whatever else, so... We're going to go and do Doomlink the second. I wish that I could actually put a space in that name, actually, because uh, it's kind of silly that you can't put spaces in your name at this stage, but regardless... We're going to master key this motherfucker, and then go slim face, or not slim faces, because I'm going into the face creation here when I meant to say uh, slim figure and whatever else, but uh, I will go and find a good face here, and I will see you in a moment. Alright, so I think I'm happy with that, so let us get moving into the game. The reason why I seem a little bit fast here, or rather hasty with my... I guess starting the game, you could say, is because I'm really pumped to do a Ash Lake run, because that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this Let's Play right now. It is currently the 6th of October as I'm recording this, and I still haven't finished my first Let's Play of this game. I don't really know how much I'm actually going to record of this first Let's Play right now. I'll of course return to it later on, regardless of when I actually decide to stop recording for this, but uh, I just really wanted to do an Ash Lake run now. I'm in the mood. And I'm going to kind of reconnect with the nostalgia of actually doing that from the beginning of the game, as if the Dragon Head glitch still existed in the game. Of course, the Dragon Head glitch wasn't exactly something that I made use of too much in the game, because this was early on in the game, and it would be kind of a shame to uh, abuse that from the very beginning of one's experience playing it. But uh, I did do it from time to time, or at the very least, I did attempt to do it a lot, because it is a little bit difficult to do it from the very start when you haven't really played the game before and, you know, there's a lot to run through and there are a lot of uh, ways to mess up. Probably the most difficult part is when you get through the Great Hollow and there are a lot of different directions that you can go in. It's more or less learning where to go. That's the uh, biggest thing there, so... Once you do learn where to go and you go through some trial and error in the process, you'll probably not have any more problems, but... Uh, probably not have any more problems, yeah. That's pretty much how it works. And, um, the reason why I can still remember how to do it nowadays is not because I've done the Dragon Head glitch a crap load of times, but rather because I did go through the trial and error process quite a few times before successfully doing the Dragon Head glitch, so therefore it's kind of ingrained in my memory in terms of how to actually do the glitch itself. Well, not do the glitch, but how to get to the Dragon Head Stone early on. Just do the run and get there. That's what I am pretty good at doing. I don't know if I... I can't even remember how to do the glitch because I think it was something like this weird combo that you did with the D-pad. I, I can't remember, but you needed to, like, move backwards or something and breathe the fire with a soul kind of equipped in here where the Estus Flask is right now. It's usable items, that's what it's called. You needed a soul there, and then as you would breathe the fire, it would pretty much... Uh, how do I say? Consume the soul infinitely as you're breathing the fire, and it was kind of cool, but... Uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly how to do it, but I'm trying to avoid the glitch where I end up flying in the air for a brief moment as I go through that door. It's kind of an, an annoying little glitch that exists, so I don't really want to get affected by it. For whatever reason, the riposta didn't exactly work out there, which isn't a big deal. I'll go and backstab you here. You are dead. Well, you're in the process of dying at the very least. It's kind of weird to say that these guys are dead when I kill them, because they kind of do... Uh, look pretty dead already, but I suppose that's the idea of unlife, as they say. <laughs> I always hate that, you know, they're undead, but then you refer to it, refer to it as unlife. I have heard, heard of that a few times, but uh, I think generally in reference to vampire culture and whatever else, but uh, I don't like a lot of vampire culture. I think that there are a lot of aspects to it that are a little bit cheesy and probably not very well thought out, but regardless, I'm going to go and kill this guy nice and quickly. Very easy to kill, of course, if you know anything about this boss. He's the first boss for a reason. Very simple to kill, but uh, doing the drop-down attack definitely does help. I suppose uh, there are times when you can go through this game for the first time and you don't actually end up doing the drop-down attack. It does kind of suck a little bit, but uh, anyway. I'm not exactly going for speedrun level speeds here, but uh, <laughs> I mean, as you could tell, I was kind of approaching that door rather slowly. I did used to do speedruns of this game once upon a time, but uh, those days are quite far behind me. That was kind of towards the end of my Dark Souls career, when I was still looking for ways to get excitement from playing this game. 
I did learn a few things from time to time going through it. You know, weird little drops that you can do at various places in the game. And also, uh, <laughs> the difficulty of it at times. Because there were, like, for instance, getting to Lost Isolith really early on, you'd be able to roll through the lava in a really dodgy fucking spot. And man, that was difficult. That was not an easy process, I'll tell you what. What I'm actually going to do is take this off. Is that all I need to take off to... Yep, I can fast roll now. Excellent. Because I don't really need to shield anything during the Ash Lake run. All I need to do is just roll out of the way and I should be good. Didn't manage to get through the door there <laughs> with that roll. Makes me sad. I feel like I failed myself. But yeah, the reason why we're coming here first and foremost is because we do have these Homeward Bones to collect. And while I'm here, I might as well collect the other stuff as well. Morning Star is a very helpful to us because uh, that's more of a strength-based weapon, I think. The Morning Star is an interesting weapon to use as like a uh, poise damage weapon. It does kind of get people stuck in a stun lock. It's an awkward attack, but it does have its uses. I mainly mean that in reference to the PvP, to be honest, but anyway. Because attacking NPCs, I suppose, does help, but as far as, uh, you know, PvE, it can be beneficial to get enemies in stun locks, but, you know, you can live without it. It's more like in PvP when that can be the difference between either winning or losing, but like against a person who actually has an idea of what they're doing. But anyway, did we rest at this bonfire? I should properly rest at it if I haven't. But yeah, we are going to need these Homeward Bones here. I might as well just equip them here. Basically, the idea is that we're going to go all the way to Ash Lake and then Homeward Bone back here because otherwise we're going to be stuck at Ash Lake and that's going to suck a lot because going back the way we came is a bit of a difficult task, I have to say. I think it is possible, maybe, but it... Oh man, it's not going to be good. I don't even know how you'd do that. I don't think I've ever gone backwards through the Great Hollow from the entrance from Ash Lake. Or the entrance into Ash Lake, rather. Because I'm thinking in my head, well, you kind of do go down by the mushrooms, and I'm thinking, well, maybe there is, like, a ladder of sorts there, but if there isn't, then I don't know what the hell you'd do. Can you not hit me, please? I responded to that before he actually hit me. I knew he was going to do that there, but that wasn't actually very beneficial at all. He managed to hit me because I got stuck you know, standing there, or rather crouching, going, Oh, that was a big jump, Doom Link, why did you do that? That was my character. That's exactly what my female character sounds like, by the way. That was a nice frame drop. Alrighty, so we are now beginning the Ash Lake run. Once again, I'm not really doing this for any other reason apart from, you know, nostalgia. I do like the nostalgia of it. Let's see how you guys react to me this time. I don't like that reaction at all. Basically, there are multiple ways in which these guys can react to you as you're running through. That is the worst possible reaction. That is the fastest reaction that they have, which is an immediate swing. And you do indeed survive that from the start. It's just the problem is, you know, it hurts. And I don't know. It's not really a big deal, but um, sometimes they will respond to you faster than others. And by others, I mean other times. Uh, they can be quick. They can be slow. It really depends on luck. And it's not really a skill-based thing, but anyway. Let's just roll down here, roll down here. I'm going to heal again because I'm running out of health. Can you stop that? Alright, I'm going to drop down on the next one here because we are toxic now. <laughs> and that's not really what I wanted. That does actually put us back a little bit because as you can see, we are losing a lot of health here. Getting toxic is probably going to be a really big setback for us because we're going to have to constantly heal ourselves. We do have enough, enough Estus Flasks for it, but I don't necessarily really want to be doing this because we're going to get poisoned as well. Now, toxic plus poison is really going to uh, wear on our health, so we probably will end, end up running out of Estus Flasks before we even get the chance to do this. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is rest at this bonfire. I didn't want to do this. But because I'm actually toxic, I have no other choice, regrettably. And I'll have to go back to the... Uh... Actually, that works anyway, because we will be going back to Blighttown, or almost to Blighttown. We'll be going back to the Valley of the Drakes to get the Dragon Crest Shield anyway, so maybe we can get the Dragon Crest Shield on our way, which works. But anyway, um... Yeah, the reason why we don't do that is because we do want a Homeward Bone more or less back to Firelink Shrine after the uh, venture into Ash Lake, but it's not hugely necessary. So what we're going to do here is actually just fast roll here, just keep track of your stamina there, and whenever you do get any stamina back, just roll again so that you can get back on this branch and you'll avoid those weird slug people. We do indeed have poison on us right now, that's kind of something that you deal with, it's not really a bad thing, it's when you have toxin plus 
poison on you and kind of eating away at your health that you're gonna have a serious problem and you're just gonna run out of Estus flasks but uh, anyway the poison is kind of an issue a little bit but as long as you kind of keep track of your health you shouldn't be too bad I will say that as we're coming through the Great Hollow here this is kind of where the big learning curve of the Ash Lake run is present we're not going to rest at this bonfire for obvious reasons because if we do return here it's gonna be kind of annoying more distance to travel but yeah, um, running fast through here does help. It's good to do it quickly, regardless, because you don't necessarily have to, but it's good, just in case the uh, big curse frogs start coming after you. I will mention that they do actually uh, kind of fuck around with you a little bit. They do hit you hard, and if you do end up getting cursed, you're going to have a problem. If you did notice back there, the camera kind of moved on its own there and almost fucked me up, but I responded to that quickly enough. Which is fortunate. I'm just letting them come up here because I don't want to have them down there with me <laughs> when I'm actually running around. So as you can see, they can follow me super fucking quickly here. So we just kind of want to avoid them in that way. They can drop and maybe fall on you if you're super unlucky. Look at that, just as I said it too. I think he might have died from the falling damage there. That's interesting. Anyway, we now slide down these ladders here and... Uh, of course, if you do attempt to drop here, you're going to have a problem. That would take a really long time to actually climb up these ladders. I'm glad that... I don't even think it's possible to go backwards through the Great Hollow. It might be, but... God, it sucks. Regardless, at this stage... Oh, no, I should have rolled there. That wasn't good at all. I did roll, but I must have been slightly too late. I'm going to heal here because I do need to do that. There is an item just over here. This is kind of like your... Um, that's your marker. You kind of want to aim for that spot there. And uh, this is where we're going. So I've definitely done smoother runs here before. We're kind of coming towards the uh, final third of this run. We're, we are about two-thirds of the way through this by now. And uh, by the time we get to Ash Lake, the final, I suppose, hurdle will be there for us to try and get, get through. So avoid these mushrooms. They will do some damage to you. And um, yeah, but they are not the huge risk here. The huge risk is, in fact, the... Uh, big mushrooms that we're coming past now. Can you not? Okay, fine. I'll go down here. Bloody assholes. Alright, I'm rolling, and we need to be quick about this, because if we are not careful, these large mushrooms will fuck us up really hard. Because he's probably going to go for a punch, and pretty much if he hits us at this stage, we are going to die instantly, and that would suck a lot. But anyway, we are now coming into Ash Lake, and this is where you need to be very smart with what you're doing. Because you will not have an opportunity to fuck up at this stage. You are going to have a giant fucking hydra chasing you. And yeah, I ended up using my last Estus Flask there to top up my health. We should be fine. We won't have any problems. It's a lot... This Estus Flask has more use to us at this stage. Existing as a uh, health top up to kind of eliminate the possibility of us dying from one hit. We probably will die from one hit anyway, but that's alright. <laughs> we don't want to get hit. That's the idea. That's pretty much our current course of action. Wow, I still feel the same fear that I used to feel when I came through here long ago. That's quite a feeling, you know, the music is, oh my god, I got stuck there. That's a thing that does not exist in the PS3 version, I will mention. You do not get stuck there on the PS3 version. I'm not surprised to see that the 360 version is still just as glitchy as ever. It's lovely to see. This clam will follow you a little bit but he's not going to catch up to you as long as you go as quickly as possible. We do have a Hydra chasing us right now. There are ways to kind of avoid, I guess, falling behind the point where you need to be going. Like, basically what is happening here, and I'm getting really fucking close to the Hydra here because he has just jumped over, so at this stage we need to be extremely quickly moving. <laughs> quickly moving. But anyway, um... Yeah, this is, a, this is a risk, more or less. And what we want to be doing right now is not following this path. This path here is a risk. We do not want to follow that path, because going through the water is not going to slow you down at all. But if you do follow that uh, sandy path, that is actually going to slow you down, because you're kind of going the long way around. You're kind of winding backwards and forwards there, or rather from side to <laughs> side to side. I'm on sensory overload trying to do this. Um, I think the risk has passed. It is still possible to get hit at this point, but considering we've been running at this speed the entire time, we're okay. Oh, the reason why I kind of felt a little bit 
afraid there is because I'm tapping into the emotions of a very long time ago when I was not quite so good at this game and I uh, had learnt how to do this in a very different era of this game's existence in relation to the gaming community, I suppose, and also, like, you know, my life as a gamer, but anyway. Jesus. So we managed to do that without any problems, and uh, this is the Everlasting Dragon. And basically, when we talk to him, he's going to give us something. We're not going to rest at this bonfire. Do not rest at this. If you rest at this, you're fucked. You, you know, nothing's going to happen. I do not believe that you can return back the other way. Just even past the Hydra. I think the Hydra will just beat the shit out of you. But anyway, what we want to do here is pray to the Everlasting Dragon and join the Covenant. As we do this, we will receive something. And that's not the uh, reconnect the controller button. That's, uh, <laughs> or rather, I suppose, what do you want to call that? Prompt? Yeah, prompt to reconnect the controller. That's not what we're receiving. We are receiving the Dragon Headstone. And that's about all we're doing in this area. At this stage, you can also cut the tail here to get the Dragon Greatsword, but we don't really want to use that. That's not really a weapon that I'd probably want to use even in a uh, a different build, like a uh, strength build, but um, anyway, we definitely won't be using it in a build like this. Oh, so that's the Ash Lake run. At this stage, we would get the Soul of a Proud Knight, and, um, well, the one that we get from the, uh, what's it called, the Valley of Drakes? Yep. And then we would go ahead and stop it. We would go and do the dragon head glitch on that. But it doesn't exist anymore, so we can't do that. But the dragon head is pretty fun. Basically, you just... I might as well demonstrate it here. We put it on like this. And it gives us a dragon head. And what it does, I will show you later on. Pretty much, if I can remember, it's like... You need to, like... You start it and then you move like that. That's kind of what you do. That's more or less what you did back in the uh, Dragon Head glitch days. You'd start breathing the fire, and then you'd switch over to that. And then imagine, like, infinite use Estus Flasks. But anyway, that's more or less what the Dragon Head glitch was like back then. Uh, we can unequip that and then rest this bonfire, and I think our head will disappear, maybe. Oh no, I think we need to actually exit. That's right, I remember this. So we actually need to exit out of the game to get rid of the Dragon Head. But we don't have any... Uh, head equipped anyway, so... <laughs> we don't have a head equipped, no, we don't have a helmet equipped anyway. So it won't be a bad thing. So what we're going to do here is just run back the way we came. We are going to go back to... Oh, I should be able to roll through that, yes I can. But yeah, we will return back up to the Valley of the Drakes, we will get the... Um, what's it called? The Dragon Crest Shield, and also the Soul, the soul of a Proud Knight, as if we were sort of... Uh, doing the dragon head glitch once again, but uh, this is the creepy dragon head that kind of broke this game for a lot of people. I will say that the dragon head really doesn't have too much viability past the first beginning area. It kind of sucks. It does indeed do some good damage, but it's not that great. It could be better, but it will be fun just to go through the first area with it anyway. So I will do that for your entertainment. Oh shit, that's a bad time for that to happen. I'm going to get hit by the toxin. If I'm not careful, please move. Please go, go, go. Thank you. Fucking Jesus, man. At least you didn't do that while I was doing the Ash Lake run, you stupid controller. I won't allow that to happen again. Basically, if I shake the controller strangely or I move it in a weird way, it will uh, do that to me. And um, as you can see, I am now toxic, so that's a thing that sucks. I will equip my Estus flasks to kind of keep control of my health here. This is not good. I might run out of Estus Flasks again. This is really not what I wanted. <sighs> I didn't run out of Estus Flasks like... Oh, I need to heal now. I can't go up that. I will die. Look how fast Toxin fucks with you. It's unbelievable. Getting hit by that stupid blow dart is not a nice thing. And hopefully I can heal at the top of this ladder in time. Yes, I can. God, this sucks. This really does suck. I don't like Toxin at all. The problem with Toxin is that it drains your health super fast, and it also lasts for a really long time. That stupid blow dart asshole. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get this guy into an attack, and then we're going to continue through here. Oh god, I need to heal. This is not good. I need to heal now, and then also... Alright. Not good. He's going to get moving. Okay. He's going to get moving. No, that's not what he's doing. Uh, we'll have to use humanity to get through here. I do have some. I have... Oh my god, not enough. Not as much as I thought I had. Okay, so Estus Flask. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, so our current task is to get back to the uh, bonfire. Oh my god, can we do it? Probably not. Okay, do it quickly. There we go. Alright. Can we do it? I have to do it now. I have to try. Because if I don't try, I think I can do it, guys. Yeah, I'll be able to manage it, but fucking hell. When I'm using the humanity like this, I've got no choice but to try and get back there. Oh god, I'll have to pull the lever. No, I won't have to. Beautiful. Okay. So I'll try and time it here to get it towards the end of the health. Okay. This will be fine. Beautiful. A bit of a waste of humanity, I agree. But, uh, oh Jesus, get through that. So we will make it back to the bonfire. Of course, my desire initially was to go to the fucking, uh, what do you call it? Valley of Drakes. I can never remember that fucking name. Oh, we're cutting it close. Check this out, guys. We are fucking cutting it close. <sighs> Too close for comfort, my friends. There goes my controller again. Alright, so... <laughs> that was an interesting start to the Let's Play, wasn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed. There's more humanity here, and I thought that I'd pick this up, and I hadn't. That was foolish of me. But anyway, we do have more there. That's a nice thing. We will return back down to that general area and we will go and get the Dragon Crest Shield and we will begin this Let's Play properly. We are going kind of okay for time. I'll end the video once I get a few items. I suppose I will be getting the... Uh, what's it called? I'm trying to remember what it's called actually. It is the Firekeeper Soul that is in New Londo Ruins. I'll be getting that as well. But I don't know if I have time to do that in this video so I might do that in the next video. That's alright. So, for now we will return back down here and go grab the Dragon Crest Shield and also the Soul of the Proud Knight because if we did still have the Dragon uh, dragon Head Glitch working, we would be using the Soul of the Proud Knight in this area to get our souls up because that is pretty much the highest level soul in this general area. So then, yeah. An interesting thing with the Dragon Head is that it does consume a crap load of your stamina as you use it, so that's kind of part of why it's not that viable. If you have a crap load of stamina, maybe it's alright. I don't know, I haven't really tried to use the dragon head in a way that would be viable at any point in time. You know, later on. It probably does almost no damage, I can't really remember. It might do a lot of poise damage to enemies, I can't remember. I'll have to give it a try again, because I haven't used it in so long. But uh, we're going to actually roll in here, grab this... Get ready to roll out of the way of this again. There we go. I say again because I've done it before, you know. <laughs> um, which was in my previous Let's Play. But anyway, I think I will more or less end the video here, guys. I will pick it up again in New Londo Ruins, where we will get the Firekeeper Soul. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching, everyone, and I will see you in part two of my Let's Play. Hope you have enjoyed this so far. Bye-bye.